Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is Prophet Ed Citronelli. And I am excited beyond measure, not only for America, but also for you in this new year, 2020. The Lord has given me a mandate to bring His power back to America with signs and wonders and miracles in diverse places. That's why I want to invite you to this dynamic crusade in the city of Philadelphia at the Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel on March 7. You cannot miss it. It will be a time of signs and wonders. Bring the sick, bring the demonized, and bring those that need a touch of God. America will never be the same. And this coast to coast in the power of the Holy Ghost Crusade is beginning in the city of independence in the city of Philadelphia. I want to see you there. Come expecting, come full of faith, and the power of God will touch you to transform your 2020 and beyond. You should register right now. Limited is the word. That's right. There is limited capacity, but I want you to sign up and register. Go to the website right now register and let the power of God meet you in Philadelphia for the launching of the Coast to Coast Crusade in the power of the Holy Ghost. You cannot miss it. See you there. Ladies and gentlemen, one day I had a I had a crusade assigned or scheduled in two different countries back to back. One was Pakistan and right after that about two weeks later was in the Dominican Republic. To make a long story short. I am I'm a, I'm a person that I, I don't like to guess. I, I want to make sure where I'm standing. And I don't like to guess, especially when it comes to the things of God. The hosting pastor of the Dominican Republic had scheduled everything. I had been promoting the event. But there was no contact, no communication between his office and my office. So I didn't know any of the details of plane tickets, arrival, hotel, who's going to pick me up. Not, not, nothing. And I don't like that. Neither would you, right? So I, I said to myself, if he doesn't call me by so-and-so date, I'm not going. And... By that date, there was no communication, so I sent, I left him a voicemail telling him very kindly but very firm that due to his lack of communication, listen, I, I'm a servant of God and I take my, my assignment seriously. All right, look, 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 so one of the things that we do in the body of Christ, we, we, we treat each other with contempt and we don't honor people in the body of Christ. But the unbelievers is sometimes we, we honor them, we give them more honor than the believers that are in the house of the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? So, I said I'm not going. I said, apostle so and so. God bless you. This is so and so. I am on my way to Pakistan in a couple of days. Please be advised. I'm not coming to your crusade. I didn't hear from him that evening. I didn't hear from him that day. When I was at the airport on my way to Pakistan, I got a text from him like, like an encyclopedia text. I don't like I don't like those texts because I don't like to read much on the phone. If you text me, just put everything you want to put in one word or two words or three. That's it. But look, you send me this. I said, ah, I, I turned the phone off. So, but this one 
says, I wasn't doing anything at the airport but waiting for the plane. I was waiting for the plane and I read the whole text. It felt like I was reading for ages. And in the text, he was apologizing this and this and that and this and this and that. Please forgive me, so forth and so on. Then he tried to reach me on the phone while I was sitting there. I didn't pick up. I said I wasn't coming. I went to Pakistan. The first night of the, serv- the uh, crusade, I went to, the, uh, to my room after the first service. And I'm praying. Midnight praying. I'm praying. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of the Lord said to me, he, 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 he came into my room and all I heard was one word. Purpose. And he said it again, purpose. And he said it again, purpose. And I said, Lord, what are you talking about purpose? And this is what he said to me. He said, I know that my son dropped the ball and did not use protocol and what he was supposed to do to make sure that everything went smooth. But son... Overlook that and consider the purpose. Then he said the purpose are the souls that are waiting for me in Dominican Republic. When he said that, it was like a balloon when it becomes deflated. You know, God knows how to get to you. Then he says, send him a text from Pakistan. And tell him all is well, you're coming. (laughs) So, that's when he began to teach me about the power of purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take just a few minutes. Because every one of us have been given a purpose. Somebody say purpose. I also want you to know that every person that have come to this planet throughout history have been born for, somebody say, a purpose. Somebody say a reason. We were not born and they were not born by chance. Look at your, your neighbor and say, I was not born by chance. Say, and you were not born by chance so I ask a question here tonight if you were not born by chance then what were you born for purpose is different for everybody and we all need to define what is our own assigned purpose Ladies and gentlemen, every question has a reason. Is that true? And every reason can generate a question. Let me say it again. Every question has a reason. And every reason can generate a question. So I'm going to ask the question one more time. Why were you born? Why were you born? Why were you born? If God created everything in the book of Genesis, way back in Genesis, and the Bible says that God looked at everything and he saw that it was good, and when he made you, he said it was very good. Uh huh. That means that what God said it was very good. It carries the seed. Somebody say perfection. Somebody say perfection. Everything that God made very good carries the seed of perfection. And that which carries the seed of perfection, the Bible calls it election. Somebody say election. And that which the Bible calls calls election it comes with direction somebody say direction and that which comes with direction it comes for something called purpose 
A television comes with direction. A car comes with direction. Those items have a purpose. Those items have a purpose. So do you. All right? Say it again, purpose. Say it again, purpose. Purpose is a very powerful word. Somebody say purpose again. And, and, and let me define it for you just, just to give you a gist of what, what, what it means in the Webster just very quickly. Purpose is, is the reason why something is done or is used. Purpose is the reason why something exists. Purpose is the reason or the intention for why the manufacturer created it in the first place. So purpose is a very powerful word. Somebody say again purpose. So as you can see, purpose has to do with, with somebody say it has to do with intention of existence. You exist, there was an intent God had behind you coming he was intentional in sending you rather than someone else even even in the medical field they say that 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 a sperm when a man releases it into his wife i, I, I don't know how many four five thousand sperms they go into am i am i close they go into the woman but only one reaches the destination that means that, that besides you, your father, when he came together with your mother, there was four to five thousand others that wanted to take your existence from the earth. But God had a mark of approval upon you rather than the other four thousand. Tell somebody, I am not a mistake. And God proved that five thousand times over. So let me tell you something. Because I want to help you. Enough is enough for the church to be weak and defeated. You're going higher. I said you're going higher. I said you're going higher. God is about to change your garment of weakness and defeat into a garment of success and blessing. God is about to take your crown of going down and give you a crown of glory. Somebody needs to give Jesus the glory. Ah. Somebody say purpose. purpose. Purpose again. Purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, purpose is, is, somebody say, is God's idea. Is that true? Is that true? Purpose is God's idea. I also want you to understand that purpose began with God. No angel had the ability to assign your assignment. To give you your own purpose. Angel Michael had no purpose for you. Gabriel had no purpose for you. The four living creatures, as smart and as strong as they are, had no assignment for you. The 24 angels, even though they are the government of, the, of heaven, they had no assignment for you. But only him that sat on the throne. He was the one that began within himself. He took counsel within himself. And he sent you. Somebody said, I am not a mistake. Ah. It began with God. Hallelujah. It, it was given to us to fulfill God's plan on the earth. Somebody say thank you Jesus. A, 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 a purpose a, 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 has, has, has been predestinated before we came. He said to Jeremiah, Jeremiah. And I love that scripture. Boy, it looks like, he feels like every service I quote it. <laughs> Jeremiah. Before I formed you, before you were formed in your mother's womb, that is, that is the now. But before the now, I knew you before. That means you existed before now. You came into time, but you originated existence outside of time. Time needed your presence. God said, let me send you from eternity into time 
so that you can be the answer to those that are crying inside of time so that you can bring the blessings and the will of God who lives outside of time and change atmosphere inside of time that's why wherever you go you are an atmosphere transformer you are a world changer things cannot remain the same things must change wherever you go somebody shout somebody shout you are you are you are you change situation wherever you go you better give somebody a high five and say I am here to change this thing I came to change some things here I said I came to change some things here the devil had people he was enslaving them he was punishing them and God said ah hey okay who should I send from these billions hey? he said you I was only in the bosom of the father as a spirit he said okay you your name shall be called Ed Watch this. And the name Ed means preacher. Look it up in the Hebrew. He said, I'm, I'm sending you to change conditions, to change situations. I am here under the anointing of God. Today, whatever the devil is doing, because Jesus has sent people under the power of his spirit, these devils cannot remain. The powers of darkness cannot go forward. Every counsel of the wicked must fall. Holy God! Ah. Sit down. Let me finish. Listen. Uh, I, I know I'm not going to finish it, but let me finish. Uh, listen. Uh, before you became, you were. Huh? Eh? the Bible says that we came from God we were a spirit before we became a person before we became a human being the Bible calls him the book of Hebrews the father of spirits hallelujah so before you became tell your neighbor I, I was already here I was already in existence I was already I was already I tell him I was already I was already I was already we, 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 we were even before our mother felt something moving before she began to get morning sickness we already existed before she began to throw up at, at the first trimester we were already saying look I am here mama you better to not abort me you better to not miscarry me because I came with a purpose from the father of spirit I came to change atmosphere somebody here is about to rise up and you're about to change your environment you're about to change your job you're about to change your family you're about to change your house you're about to change everywhere it go somebody say I am here for a purpose somebody say purpose somebody say purpose hallelujah we were in this in, in the spirit as I said we were inside of God hallelujah and then we were shaping in sin hallelujah uh, forming sin and shaping in iniquity and here we are thank God somebody say thank God hey listen so so now since you were born with this purpose somebody say again purpose since you are the answer to humanity's cry you say you have to walk like this every day you, you have to go into your place of employment and say these people need me here huh oh, you think the boss needs you huh many of, many of you don't, don't, don't understand that one your boss in that company needs you there huh you're an atmosphere changer you're a world transformer Wherever you go, things cannot remain the same. Wherever you go, whatever was going down must go up. Whatever was going this way must go right. Somebody said they need me wherever I go. 
Your family needs you. Huh? Your, your, even your neighbor that don't like you. Eh? They need you. They just don't know it. Because when you are praying at midnight, all of that fire that is being released on the block, they become beneficiaries of that fire. And they don't even know it. They don't even know it. They need you to the right of your neighbor. They need you to the left. Your neighbors are giving, being blessed. They're being protected because of your fire prayers. At one in the morning, my raka toho. At two in the morning, my kunda rakote. At three in the morning, fire, 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 fire. Everybody on the block needs you. It's because of your prayer that nobody is dying on that block. Put your hands. Yeah. I stand in my house and say, Demon, I live here. Huh? This block, not just this house. Look, look I, I don't just take over my house. Huh? The Lord said, what, what, Whatever your feet tread is yours. Huh? I begin to do deliverance. People sleeping, I know demons. Are entering people's dream at that time. Oh, you see, you're not conscious of this. At two in the morning, I'm praying Moko Rakato. And the black people are, are dreaming demon, demonic dream. So I target them. And then the person would wake up and say, ah, I saw you in my dream last night. Uh-huh. It's okay. It's okay. Somebody say purpose. Somebody say purpose. You, you are the answer to, to the Christ of million. I want you to understand that purpose is bigger than you. I said purpose is bigger than you. And, and I also want you to understand that it is time for the church to fulfill their purpose. Every one of you will fulfill your purpose. I speak as a prophet of God. Every one of you, by the power of the resurrection of my master Jesus, every one of you will fulfill your purpose. Whatever power that tried to block you from reaching your purpose, that power will die tonight. But I speak in the name of Jesus. You will reach. 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 You will reach your purpose. They cannot kill you. I said they cannot kill you. Whoever tried to kill you tonight, by tomorrow you will hear about an obituary. You will read about somebody obituary. Whoever tries to kill you tonight, you will not see them tomorrow morning. That purpose must be fulfilled. Somebody say, I must fulfill it. Say, I must fulfill it. And, and church, purpose gives life to vision. Without a vision, my people what? Perish. God has given a purpose for every one of us. Congratulations. The scriptures make it very clear. Look at what he says in Exodus chapter 9 verse 16. But I have raised you up even to Pharaoh. Even demonic Pharaoh. God said I raised you up. To use you. For my purpose. But I have raised you up for this very purpose. Talking to Pharaoh. That I might show you my power. Hey, God is something, eh? He raises Pharaoh up to whip him so that everybody will see God whipping him and God gets the glory. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> ah, that I might show you my power and that my name be proclaimed in all the earth. Yeah. Hallelujah. All to understand that God's purpose cannot be undone. I say it cannot be undone. Look at what Job says in Job 42 verse 2. I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be dwarfed. He said, I am he that opens. Who can, who can, who can close what God opens? Ah, can demons op uh, close what Jesus has opened? Can Lucifer close what Jesus has opened? Am I talking to somebody? God's purpose in your life cannot be dwarfed. Huh? It cannot be dwarfed. I mean, it, 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 it can be stopped from being fulfilled. But it doesn't kill it. It cannot be killed. It cannot be dwarfed. God's purpose 
is the real one that lasts. I said to God's purpose in your heart, in your life, is the one that lasts. In Proverbs 19, 21, he says, Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. God's purpose will prevail in your life. I speak in Jesus' name. I said God's purpose will prevail in someone's life. And as I said, every person is born for a purpose. Look at what he says in Proverbs 20 verse 5. The purpose of a person's heart are deep waters. Hey. But one who has insight draws them out. You see? You can have a purpose, but if you don't have insight, if you don't understand, if you don't have knowledge, if you don't know where you're going, you will wind up. Ah. God fulfills his purpose in his people. Look at what he says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 and 13. Therefore, my dear brethren, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who worketh in you both to will and to do of his good. God will fulfill his purpose. God needs to motivate you to go this way. God needs to work in you so you can get the desire to do it. Because without desire, there is no motivation. With no motivation, there is no action. But God then begins to work a desire. God begins to work a desire in your heart to go this way. And when you go that way, that's when you meet the angel that changes your destiny. Hallelujah. God will fulfill his purpose in the people of God's life. Somebody shout and say, yes, he will. Yes, he will. And God works through whatever situation he needs to. To fulfill his purpose. Whatever he needs to do. He will do to fulfill his purpose in you. Look at what he says in Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things. God works. In all. Somebody say in all things. All things work for good. For those. Who are what? Eh? All things, whatever you're going through, don't worry, you're coming out. Whatever your challenge, your experience, don't worry, you're coming out. You may have been defeated yesterday, but today is a new day. I said today is a new day. You have may, may have been knocked down seven times, but because of the righteousness of Jesus upon you, the righteous falls seven times, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, he rises up. Somebody is about to rise up. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. Something is about to change. Somebody give Jesus Christ the glory. Oh my God. Oh my God. He will work it out. Somebody say we'll work it out. Because of purpose. Somebody say purpose. Hallelujah. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know. That purpose, somebody say purpose. Purpose has to be fulfilled. How do you do it? How do you fulfill the purpose? Remember, you came from the father of spirits. Purpose comes from God. We must reconnect with the purpose giver. We cannot know the purpose until we reconnect with the one that originated it. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? No religion can show you your purpose. The Pope cannot show you your purpose. The president of this uh, strong country cannot show you your purpose. Why? Because they cannot show you something that they themselves have not given you. Only the one that gave you the purpose is the one that is able to define it and show you the way. What do you need to do? Number one, you must be born again. Eh? That's right, you must be born again. Ah. Unless you are born of the spirit 
and of water you cannot enter to the kingdom which is the origination place of purpose you want to know purpose be reconnected back to the kingdom and there's only one connection there is only one bridge back there is only one way his name is Jesus Christ I say his name is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings his name is the one that died on the cross of Calvary his name is Jesus Emmanuel his name is Yeshua Hamashiach his name is El Shaddai his name is the Bishop and Shepherd of our soul his name is called the Ancient of Pain his name is called Jehovah Rapha his name is called Jehovah Nisi his name is called Jehovah Shalom his name is called Jehovah Shama his name is called Jehovah El Ilion his name is called Jehovah my banner his name is called Jehovah Maka just somebody say Jehovah Jehovah you must reconnect you must reconnect number two to know your purpose you must know and read the blueprint you and I came with a blueprint instructions it is called the word of God then you must find your operational ability in the instructions ah Number three, once you find operational understanding, then you need faith with action. I say faith with action. James said, you say, ah, you have faith and I have works, but show me your faith without action and I will show you that through my action, I have faith. Because faith without a, a purpose is something that you can begin to experience it right now. Now that you're connected, then begin to look at the instruction of what the book says. Huh? The book says who you are. The book says how you should function. Am I right? Uh, uh, th th this, this Bible doesn't tell you how you should function, how you should walk, how you should talk, how you should think, how you should act. And lastly, the Bible just told us that it is God that worketh in us, both to willing to do of his good pleasure. To know your purpose, you have to reach inside and look. What pulls you? What pulls you? Even, 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 listen, even if they don't pay you, you'll do it because this thing is inside. Am I helping you here? Am I helping you here? Many of you are doing jobs rather than doing purpose. Many of you have jobs rather than calling. You have job because you need money. Nothing wrong with that. We all need money. But what is pulling you to, to do? Huh? What is pulling? It is God working in you. Do this. Do this. Do this. And your money is telling you, oh, but I need the money. But I need the money. But I need the money. Do this. Do this. You had dreams after dreams after dreams after dreams. Do this. Do this. You see yourself doing it. But you say, ah, I need the money. I need the money. Don't you know that God's purpose fulfilled will give you more than the paycheck that you are with. Stand on your feet right now. Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is Prophet Ed Citronelli. And I am excited beyond measure, not only for America, but also for you in this new year, 2020. The Lord has given me a mandate to bring his power back to America with signs and wonders and miracles in diverse places. That's why I want to invite you to this dynamic crusade in the city of Philadelphia at the Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel on March 7. 
You cannot miss it. It will be a time of signs and wonders. Bring the sick, bring the demonized, and bring those that need a touch of God. America will never be the same. And this coast to coast in the power of the Holy Ghost crusade is beginning in the city of independence, in the city of Philadelphia. I want to see you there. Come expecting, come full of faith and the power of God will touch you to transform your 2020 and beyond. You should register right now. Limited is the word. That's right. There is limited capacity, but I want you to sign up and register. Go to the website right now, register and let the power of God meet you in Philadelphia for the launching of the Coast to Coast Crusade in the power of the Holy Ghost. You cannot miss it. See you there.